Okay, so I recently repaired our pencil sharpener because when you tried to put the pencil in, it would you basically just heard the hum of the of the motor being jammed. And I learned a few things while doing this repair, so I thought I would share it with everyone. So the first thing you want to do before you're working on anything electrical, make sure that it is completely unplugged from the wall. And obviously you start by taking the shavings tray out. And the first thing that I learned is inside this hole right here and on the back side of this tray is a little nub. And that is actually a safety switch. So if you don't have the uh, catch tray inserted in here, this isn't going to run. So there's actually two safety switches. One that's in here for the, for the, um, the nub on the tray. And then the other one, you can hear the, the click, oops, the click of the pencil going in and out, right? So this will activate the motor, but the motor won't run unless the tray's in activating the switch. So that's the one thing that I learned. What you want to do is if it's not running is take the tray out and then the, the place that I found was, ooh, Rotate, there we go. Inside here, this is the sharpening unit, and then it actually rotates around some gears. So I'll show you how to get access to that. You need to take the this blue cover completely off. So all you need is a Phillips screwdriver, and you want to get one that is relatively narrow because of these holes here are pretty small. So we'll uh, first we'll take the bottom off really just three screws, no big deal. One, two. Three. There we go. So the bottom cover comes off just like that. Set it aside. It gives you a little better access to, to these holes here. It is a little tricky. It's kind of in there and start to come out. There. So if your screwdriver is too wide, it's never going to fit in there. Kind of tedious, sorry. There we go. Okay, now we can take the blue cover off. Like that. And you'll want to clean out all the mess and things like that that's inside there. So unscrew the, uh, the other the other screws still in there, but that's okay. So now we're getting closer to, to what we actually need to work on, and what I found was part of the problem on my sample. So let me zoom this and pull this in here. There we go. Get a little more light in there. So to see what's going on in the in the gears here, um, this cover needs to come off. So it's two screws, pretty easy. One. Right. Wires are held in on the side here. Just kind of work them out of there. And now the cover's off. Now you can kind of see the um, the sharpener unit rotates around. There we go. On these gears, these gear teeth in here. And these gear teeth are plastic, so. What happens is pencil shavings get in these gear teeth and start to clog them up. So as it's trying to spin around, the uh, the gear teeth on, on this drive unit here gets hung up. So how do you get into these gear teeth, right? That's where we turn the, the unit over. And it's actually pretty simple. There's nothing that really can go wrong in here. Your electricity comes in and then 
that creates the electromagnet that drives the, the motor here. And that little motor, little gear, that spins this big gear that drives the pencil sharpener. That's it, there's nothing in here. This thing back here can never break. There's literally no, there's nothing in this to break. So unless you destroy the teeth of this gear, it's, it's never going anywhere. So you just take this screw out right here on this big gear. There we go. Gear comes off, screw comes out, and there's your sharpening unit. That's it, right? So these teeth, these teeth right there, that is what's rotating on these plastic pieces in the front. So now that I can bring it over, you can kind of see that, right? So on my plastic piece here, it's really hard to see, but these teeth on the bottom were all chewed up and actually they were a little, uh, oops, there we go. They were a little deformed. So it's causing the, the gear teeth on this to get hung up. You can actually see kind of this bird, it's like a little bird edge right on, on that tooth and they were a little deformed. So it took my knife and I kind of just, you know, carefully worked the edges to, to smooth it out and take away all those plastic burrs. And once those were gone, then this rotated really smooth. And once it was rotating smoothly, I knew that we were good to go. So you just reverse the, the assembly. It even has two little tabs that fit into these holes here. So. The gear lines up, fits right in. Then we take our big, our big gear here and slide that on. Just like that, right? That big gear's on there now and it's touching the lower gear. And this screw goes on here, just like that. And one of the things that I learned while assembling this is you don't need to go crazy tight on this because if you tighten this too much, it actually pulls this unit back into the plastic gear and then um, it's too tight and it won't want to turn. So it causes problems. So then the plastic cover goes on. Here it is zoom out now that we're done there. Plastic cover goes on just like this. And again, these don't necessarily need to be Hercules tight. So we get those screwed in there, go like that. Make sure we're even. Okay. Then you, know, you can always check it and uh, that feels kind of tight. So Give it a little bit of slack there. And look how much better that is, right? If you don't want to go wild or anything, just you know, play with it till it feels good. So on the front, this is the little device that when you stick your pencil in, that's your switch, right? So this switch tells that there's a pencil in there and it's good to go. This switch down there says the catch tray is in place, good to go. And it will only run when both, both switches are on. I learned that the hard way. So once that's in, now we um, tuck in our, our wires here on the side. No big deal, all right, he's on. Now we bring our cover back onto it. Just like that, covers on. Take these these bolts here, 
My cat is really excited about this. He's meowing in the background. Tighten those in. A lot longer than I expected, but it's okay. No. Okay, and then again, you can. This is sharp, so you know, watch yourself. Rotate it around, make sure nothing got hung up. Once that's on, make sure our electrical cords are all tucked in. And this bad boy. This little square thing fits right in that little notch there. You bring this over. Make sure the notches line up on the back so your cord's sitting real nice and tucked in. Put our three screws back in. Tricky one. up yep there we go now as I was saying the, the moment of truth right when you do all that stuff and then you want to see if it works nothing happens until you put the second one in now you're good to go so if you clear your jam out of the inside, all the pencil shavings, I would also recommend taking a look at those gear teeth because if they're deformed or there's um, the plastic's been kind of rolled over or misshapen, you can go in there and gently give it a little trim and uh, the sharpener will roll very smoothly and then it'll be back to business for this. So have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.